Listen, bitch. <sighs> I just want to come ahead this little chat real quick because I keep seeing this on Twitter a lot. As everyone knows, Nicki Minaj, she collaborated with uh, Malibu Mitch, JT from the City Girls, uh, Akbar, and Katie Got Bands. She put them on a remix of Super Freaky Girl, debut number one hit that's been in the top 10 for seven consecutive weeks, has half of a million uh, videos made with the original sound on TikTok. It's a worldwide hit, okay? It's a worldwide fucking hit, okay? <laughs> As it should be, it's Nicki Minaj. What is, I mean, what do you expect? As you can see, you know, some of the girls think that uh, for some reason, you know, and this is the Barbie me because the Barbie me is tired of seeing this. And the Barbie me is using my platform to bring attention and awareness to this bullshit. I'm not going to say her name in this video because I just don't want to say her name whatsoever. Um, I really don't even like talking about the girl because it's just like, bitch, you're stupid. Go be a fucking mother. She's beefing with all the girls that are on the Queen Mix uh, song, okay? Mind you. My thing is, it's so funny because she always argue with us barbs all the time. She argues with the barbs all day, every day on Twitter. She sees one barb in her comments and the comment may be something that very much so triggers her and boop. There she go. She's on a whole entire rent all day. Like, first of all, you probably don't breastfeed. Clearly you, you, you don't. Clearly you're not making no bottles, not changing no diapers, not dropping nobody off at school. Because if you were, you want to have time to sit on Twitter all day, every day, argue with bitches that don't give a fuck about you. And is that really why you're mad? Is that the girls don't give a fuck about you and you think you have some sort of influence that you was told that you had? I don't know who lied to you, girl, but somebody lied to you. We all know who lied to you, clearly Atlantic Records. They lied to you and these bum ass niggas and bitches that's been in your ear has been lying to you too. You see that. For me, I feel like you're just simply bitter, you know? Cause like, why are you going after everybody that's affiliated with the queen instead of going after her? Cause your real issues with her, clearly. But you know, you can't get with her. You know, you can't, you can't sit with her. You really can't sit with the other girls either because the other girls know how to write. They know how to write. They know how to rap. Okay, so you really can't sit with the other girls either, you know? So it's just like, why are you sitting here taking out all your animosity on these other girls, calling them lap dogs and, oh, just like, just just coming at them for no reason, just because they're happy that they collaborated with the Nicki Minaj. Bitch, who the fuck want to be happy if they collaborated with Nicki? Nicki Minaj, bitch. Nicki Minaj follows me on Twitter. Bitch, do you not know I still lose my shit every single time I see her like my tweets? Just the fact that I see Nicki Minaj with her verified check saying liked a tweet or Nicki Minaj liked a retweet from you. You know, shit like that. Bitch, that still gags the fuck out of me, okay? And I've been a fan of Nicki Minaj since motherfucking, bitch, middle school. Like, what, fifth grade maybe? You can ask people that have grown up with me, people that has been around me my entire life, knows how I give it up when it comes to Nicki Minaj, okay? So the fact that she's done that, for me, it's very much so full circle for me. On top of that, it's just like, like I said, bitch, this is the queen of fucking rap. This is the the most, this is the highest selling female rapper. She's the biggest female rapper on the planet at this moment. Like, what the fuck? Who wouldn't be happy to get a song with her? And it's just like, bitch, you're just bitter. You're jealous. Girl, get the fuck over it like get over yourself i don't know who the fuck lied to you i don't know who told you you was that girl you was that it girl you're not that it girl girl like not at all bitch you just collaborated with motherfucking glorilla she got a top 10 you on the song we all know why you got on the song because bitch hot shit didn't do shit okay so we all know why you got on the song it was already going up because glorilla is an up-and-coming artist so it was already going up so of course it was smart for you to get in that song of course <laughs> that's what you want to do you you like to latch onto other people's success and then like to turn the ball like you did with jt talk about oh y'all basically trying to say jt wasn't popping until she got on a song bitch what the fuck what are you talking about bitch the city girls had everybody saying period no matter if her last charting song was act up, bitch, she still got the impact that you crave to this day. And you know you don't have an impact because bitch, if you did, you won't be acting the way you act on social media. You're acting out. And we see it, bitch. We see through the facade, bitch. We see through the smoke and mirrors, bitch. No one's dumb but you. And it's just like, girl, like, exactly why I say it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what you are given in life. If you within yourself is not happy, if you're not, if your true authentic self is not happy, 
None of this shit around you will make you happy at the end of the day. You can be a billionaire, bitch, and you could still be a miserable ass hoe. We see right through it, babe. We see right through it. And it's like, when we call it out, it's like certain people in the GP is like, oh, Nikki's making these girls beef with da 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 Nobody's making these grown ass girls at this woman. Why would Nicki Minaj have to do that? Nicki Minaj has went up against everybody by her fucking self. So what makes you think that little 5'2", five 5'3", five like what makes you think that little woman needs somebody to handle what's hers? You know what I'm saying? Like she don't need nobody. Bitch, she good. Stop trying to run away from what's really the fucking truth. Because that's what y'all are doing. In your fucking face. How can you not see it? And when I see shit like this, it really upsets me. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. It upsets me. And that's why I'm making this video. It's kind of more so of like a little rant, but that's fine. Uh, it needs to be said. And like I said, I'm gonna use my platform to say it regardless of how anyone feels about it. Bitches can simply use their platform to simply lie on Nicki Minaj. Then bitch, I'm gonna use my platform to tell the fucking truth. How about that? <laughs> I just I just find that to be very weird. Like, you know, this is, and the thing is like, it's been, it's been so many things that has came to the surface of uh, basically showing how that Moonface girl has been bothered and been a stalker. Like, bitch, you're, bitch, you're literally trying to take my sister whole face. Like, you are beyond obsessed at this point. You know, whenever she uh, was like talking about like, oh, um, I think that was like whenever she had changed her profile picture to Joe from you. It's a reason why you is like definitely her number one show on Netflix because babe, you and Joe are like this. You're very much so obsessed and it's not cute. It's not funny. It's very scary at this point, honestly and truly, because why are you, you're, you're, you're basically trying to be her at this point, but you hate her so much, but we all know you don't, you know, but you do because you want to be in her spot, you know, <laughs> we get it. We don't get it. But we get it. We we see you. Bitch, let that hate go. Focus on what you have coming. Because, bitch, why you out here trying to meet bitches in the streets? Bitch, you just was in court last week pleading guilty for having bitches beat the fuck up over your no-good-ass nigga that can't keep his dick in his pants and everything else but you. That's not these other girls' problems. So you out, you just got out of court, had to do, com got to do community service. You going to meet bitches to fight. Your mother. Grow the fuck up. You're a fucking mother, okay? Act like a fucking mother. You always talk about, you don't want nobody talking about your kids and this, this, and that. Well, bitch, act like a fucking mother and no one will even have to mention anything about you or your children. Because right now, the behavior that you are exhibiting is not motherly-like behavior, okay? It's not. I don't care what you say about it. I don't care if you like it or you don't. It is what it is. It's the fucking truth. And like I just said, I'm using my platform to tell the truth about Onika Tanya Miraj Petty. These other bitches be using their platform to tell fucking lies. And you see what it's got them. Lawsuit coming soon. <laughs> oh, you know, I just wanted to come and touch on how basically the female rap unity bullshit was always a fucking facade. The shit was fake. They only got that shit together to make Nicki Minaj look like the bad guy. And it worked. And that's okay. Because now the shit is crumbling and shit is being revealed. Because what's done in the dark always comes to the light, babe. Light is coming to get back everything in darkness. So, <laughs> the wife out, you want me until you have to find out is one me. Now you bench all oh, you bum me. Now I'm the bad guy. Call me Chun Li. <laughs> Y'all were not listening to my sister when she was singing, when she was rapping that. Y'all weren't listening to her. But I was. I was very much so listening. And if any bitch got a problem with it, you know, y'all know where to find me in the comment section, girl. Comment below or wherever you got to do. Comment on any of my socials. If y'all want to have an open discussion, it's really nothing to have an open discussion about. But if y'all would like to openly discuss and tell me how I wrong, which I know I'm not wrong, it's fine. Because you, you know what? This is, uh, this is the land of, what's the word? Free speech, you know? So, you know, do your free speech, girl. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. We're, but at the end of the day, just know that we are going to agree to disagree, okay? <laughs> I love you so much and thank you for watching.